Hello everybody and welcome to part 7 of what if Izuku Midori had Nightcrawler's powers. As always, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, there will be a link in the description below and the annotation above. If you enjoy the series and want to see it continue, you already know what to do since I ask this every episode and I really want to stop asking. Also, quick reminder, I made a Discord. There will be a link in the description below to it. So, if you guys want to chat or anything with me or with other people, People that watch this, I have no name for you guys, so um, check it out. After the sports festival, the students were given three days to rest and recover, although the time quickly passed. Midori is on the train to school and he gets recognized. A random guy says, Hey, you're Midoriya from uh, Midoriya, right? From class 1A. Midoriya says, uh, Yeah, that's me. The random guy says, Great job in the sports festival. I was really rooting for you. The whole train car then starts looking at Midoriya and they start congratulating him, ending with, Keep it up, hero! After that, Midoriya walks to Yue when Ida passes him by. Ida says, Morning, Midoriya! Midoriya then starts running up to catch up with him while saying, Good morning! Midoriya follows Ida and at the gate he says, Hey, Ida, I read what happened online. I'm re... Uh, Ida smiles and at Midoriya and says, If it's about my brother, don't be concerned. I'm sure everything will be fine. In class, Ashido says, It's so weird that people recognize us from TV. Everyone wanted to talk to me on my way here. Midoriya says, Yeah, the people on the train cheered for me. Kirishima says, Everyone wanted to talk to me too. Hagakura says, People on the street were staring at me. It was so embarrassing. Ojiro says, but isn't that normal for you? Kaminari says, all I took was one sports festival and we're famous. Aizawa walks in the class and says, morning. The class rushes to their seats and says, good morning, Mr. Aizawa. Aizawa walks to the podium and says, we have a big class today on hero informatics. The class starts freaking out a bit. They kind of don't like this class. Azawa then says, you need code names. Time to pick your hero identities. And the class gets excited, screaming, this is going to be totally awesome. Azawa glares at them and the class calms down. Azawa says, this is related to the pro hero draft picks I mentioned last time we were in class together. Normally students don't have to worry about the draft yet until, not until their second or third year actually, but your class is different. In fact, by extending offers to force years like you, pros are essentially investing in your potential. This offer can be rescinded if their interest dies down before graduation though. And Mineta says, stupid selfish adults. Toro asks, so what you are saying is that we will still have to prove ourselves after we've gotten recruited? Azawa answers, correct. Now here are the totals for those of you who got offers. Aizawa hits a button and results start popping up on the screen. The numbers shown are 3,975 for Bakugo, 3,211 for Midoriya, 3,013 for Todoroki because he didn't use his fire, and then 700 and some, 727 for Tokoyami, etc. I'm not gonna say the rest, but there is a big difference between the top three and the rest. Um, Aizawa says, in, in past years it's been more spread out, but there is a pretty big gap this time. Kaminari says, it's so not fair. Ayama says, what about the real star? Moi. Aizawa says, despite these results, you'll all be interning with pros. Got it? Even those of you who didn't get any offers. Minera says, so we all get to intern? Aizawa says, yes. You already got to experience what it's like to experience combat with real villains during the US uh, during the attack on the USJ facility. But it will still be helpful to see pros at work. Up close and personal, in the field, first hand. Sato says, and for that we need hero names. Raka says, um, things are suddenly getting a lot more fun. Aizawa recalling his own choosing of his name says, these hero names will likely be temporary, but take them seriously or Midnight bursts into the room and says, you'll have what you pick today could be your code name for life. Name for life. 
you better be careful, or you'll be stuck with something utterly indecent. And the class says, It's midnight! She's kind of surprised. Azawa then explains, Yeah, she's got a point, a good point. Um, midnight is going to have final approval over your names. It's not my forte. The name you give yourself is important. It helps reinforce your image and shows what kind of hero you want to be in the future. A code name tells people what you represent. Take All Might, for example. Papers are then passed through the class as Midoriya thinks, I need something that embodies the kind of hero I want to be. The class starts presenting their names, and as they do, Midoriya is having trouble picking his. After a couple suggestions from Mina and Bakugo, such as Elf, Yonder Boy, Blue, uh, that stuff, um, Midoriya can, and, and others, Midoriya can't really think of anything cool. Takoyami then suggests Midoriya. If you haven't, or if you're having trouble picking a name, I suggest that um, I have a suggestion you that might suit you. Midoriya asks, "What is it, Tokoyami? And Tokoyami says, "Nightcrawler." Midoriya says, "That's perfect. Thank you very much." And he, bam, he writes it down and then bams on on stage, presenting his name. Um, it's it gets approval from both the whole class and Midnight. Midoriya goes back to sit down and says, Thanks again, Tokoyami. After everyone, or well, almost everyone decides on a name, seeing as some of them use their first names, such as Ida, Shoto, and Bakugo, um, Aizawa takes the stage again. He says, Now that everyone has decided on a hero name, we can go back to talking about the, your upcoming, upcoming internships. They'll last for one week. As for who you'll be working with, those of you who who run the board will be choosing from your offers. Everyone else will have a different list. You have a lot to think about. There are about 40 agencies across the country who have agreed to take on interns from your class. Each agency has a di different spe uh, specialty that's, that it focuses on. Keep that in mind. Midnight chimes in saying, Imagine you were 13. You want to focus on a place that focuses on rescuing people, not fighting villains. Understand? Aizawa then finishes, Think carefully before you decide. The class says, Yes, sir. The, cl the class starts thinking where they want to go, and Aizawa says, Turn in your choices before the weekend while leaving the class, because it kind of ended. Zero, zero asks, We only have two days? Azawa says, yeah, so you should start now. Everyone starts thinking about where they are going to intern on, or who they're going to intern under. Midoriya starts mumbling something he does way less, something he does way less often in this version of events, um, about where he wants to go. A couple of st students group together. Um, what's he doing, they ask. Midoriya snaps out of it and says, sorry, sorry what did you guys say? Uh, Tsuyu says, you're really thinking hard about this. Rekka says, it'll all work out. I've settled on my pick. Ashido asks, already? Ojiro asks, what agency? Uraka says, the one that the uh, battle hero Gunhead runs. Midoriya says, Gunhead? Isn't he a big brawler though? Are you sure you were, um, you want to enter under him, Uraka? Uraka says, yep, he sent me an offer. Mira says, I thought you were trying to be a uh, hero kind of like 13, one that focuses on rescue. Raka says, that's the plan, but after the sports festival, I realized I need more fighting tactics if I'm going to be a good hero. Midoriya then starts thinking, she probably has the right idea. Maybe I should focus on one that does combat instead of rescuing like I wanted to. My quirk is suitable for that, but this can my quirk is more suitable for rescue, but for combat, I probably need some more combat prowess. Midori then selects his pick and hands it in. In the teacher's room, Aizawa looks through the student's choices. He sees that Midoriya chose James Howlett's agency. Toroki chose Edshot's agency, seeing as he did not go get over his father's thing, and Edshot is a pretty high-ranking hero who sent him an offer. And Ida chose Manuel's agency. A couple of days later, the students get together at the train station, along with Aizawa. Aizawa asks, Everyone has their costumes, right? Remember, 
you don't have permission to wear them out in public yet. And don't lose them or anything. Ashido says, GOTCHA! Aizawa says, Sir Ashido. And, Aizawa, and Ashido says, Yes, sir. Aizawa says, Make sure you mind your manners with the other heroes during the internships. Now get to it. No class says, Yes, sir! Ashido, Raka, Midoriya go talk to Ida, telling him that if he needs help or to talk about anything about his brother, they are always available. Ida says thanks, but everything is fine, and walks away. Midoriya then takes the train to Kamino Ward. There, he goes to a small building and knocks on the door. An old man holding a beer with one hand and some metal cloths coming out the other hand um, answers the door and asks, Who are you, kid? Anyway, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments suggestions, leave them in the comments below please, and do not forget I have a Discord if you guys want to check it out, link in the description. Until next time, have a nice day everyone, bye!